what is pi domain and what is pi domain auction what are the advantages and disadvantages of a pi domain should i get the pi domain or should i leave it these are the questions i'll be answering in this video i know many people are trying to decide are trying to understand what pi domain means and what pi domain auction means the pi domains feature on pi network we allow community members to secure customized domain names for businesses, for brands, for stores, for applications, and for personal use. And all these are going to be within the Pi ecosystem. This development follows the recent open network launch, which enabled external connectivity for the previously closed ecosystem. What this means is that, like you have any kind of website or blog, and then you can also have a blog with your name on the Pi ecosystem. A Pi domain name is a unique digital address within the Pi network ecosystem, similar to traditional web domains like .com or .net. These domains end with .pi. So let's assume that um, I want to get a name. Let's say the, a particular domain name is, uh, let's say, dangote.com. Dangote.com or BillGates.com, for example. Maybe that is existing already. Then on Pi now, you're going to get Dangote.py or BillGates.py or your name.py. These domains end with Pi, with .py and serve as personalized identifiers or virtual storefronts. Let me tell you the advantages of these domain names or these Pi domains. Number one advantage is personalized identity. Just like having a custom.com address, a .py domain allows you to create a unique identity within the Pi ecosystem, enhancing your brand or personal presence. Then it also allows for seamless integration. These domains are designed to work smoothly with Pi Network's applications and services, providing a cohesive user experience. Then there's this number three advantage, which is early adoption benefits. Being among the first to secure a .py domain can position you advantageously as the network grows potentially, increasing the value and recognition of your domain. What then are the disadvantages of Pi domains? Number one is accessibility limitation. Currently, and I say currently, we don't know about what will happen in the next few days or the next few weeks or the next few months. Dot .py domains may not, may not, not that it is not, may not be accessible through standard web browser. This is an assumption that if you just go to Google and you type in your dot .py, that it will not go. But I doubt it. A domain name is a domain name. So this is uh, an assumptive disadvantage. So number two disadvantage is the annual renewal cost. Owning a .py domain requires yearly renewal fees, which could be considered substantial, especially if the domain doesn't generate expected value or traffic. Number three is speculative value. The future value and utility of .py domains are uncertain. Investing in these domains carries the risk that they may not appreciate or gain widespread adoption as anticipated. Why won't it gain widespread adoption? Uh, adoption. Why would other traditional domain names gain widespread adoption? It is if you have your domain name and you put good content on your page, people will, will, are going to be driven to your page. Now, let me talk about domain auction. I'm still going to come back to talk about the nativity in terms of the money value and the advantage and my own decision towards the end of this video. So what is domain auction? The Pi domain auction is an event where members of the Pi network community can bid on unique Pi on unique dot Pi domain names similar to dot com or dot net domains on the traditional internet. These domains allow users and businesses to create personalized addresses within the Pi ecosystem, enhancing their online presence. How does the Pi domain auction work? 
Number one way it works is through the auction period. The auction started we start it started on March 14, 2025, and we run until June 28, 2025. That is March, April 14, May 14, June 14. So that's about three months. April, May, then June 14. That's three months and two weeks, which is uh, 14 weeks. So the bidding process, participation, participation, all Pi Network members can participate by accessing the auction platform through the Pi Browser. So on the Pi Browser, there's an auction platform. If you remember my previous video on the Pi Browser, I showed you the fire site, um, fire, fire site, and I also showed you the persona or the or where you can go and add friends. So the bidding currency bids are made exclusively using Pi coins, the native cryptocurrency of the Pi network. Then the starts um, starting bid, the minimum bid for any domain is set at ten Pi coins. Then winning a domain, highest bidder, the highest bidder wins the domain name. The participant with the highest bid at the end of the auction period secures the domain name. Then auction extension, if a new bid is placed within the final 24 hours of the auction, that's, let's say a new bid is paid, placed on the 27th or exactly on the 28th, then the bidding period for that specific domain is extended to allow others the opportunity to place higher bids. Then the post auction domain use it. Winners can use their pure pie domains for various purposes, such as settling, setting up website, online stores, or personal profiles within the pie network. Then maintenance fees, similar to traditional domains, the pie domains may require registration and maintenance fees payable in pie coins. Now, why do you need to participate in the domain auction? There's a unique identity that you're going to get. Then there's the early adoption advantage and there's the ecosystem growth. Now, some people have, um, have said that it is not advisable to get the domain name that uh, this and that is going to be this, is going to be that. I think this is a good deal that is coming from Pi Network. Personally, I have had um, several blogs, about two or three or three or four blogs in the time past. The first one, I had it, I saw the disadvantage, I moved to the second one, I moved to the third one, I moved to the fourth one. After the fourth one, I decided I was not going to take part in any blogging activity again, in writing blogs. And then I focused on YouTube and I did I do free blogging on other social media platforms like Facebook, like Twitter, like others. I just post for, for, for leisure and for my other uses, not monetizing a blog. Now, I had this blog, uh, newbenge at yahoo.com. Then later, I had the newbenge at yahoo.com. Then later, I had human learning tech, um, something like that, at, uh, at yahoo.com. Then later, I had um, the new, coco new kokoro at yahoo.com. Then later, I had the new kokoro at yahoo.com. So you can see. And even one was doing so well. At a point, you just discover that on that blog, on that blog, you just discover that something went wrong at the back end. And then you are not too good technically to fix it. So you need to depend upon the individual that is going to be able to fix it. And that person will charge you. Then apart from that, that is a major drawback. Some of the things you have put on the blog are going to be wiped out. Many times I would have to recall the person. It has gone down again. Then it will come up. Then it will go down. Then it will come up. Sometimes they do it for free. Sometimes they fix it with pay. So the advantage of the, this Pi domain is that it is going to be managed by Pi and their engineers. If they are be able to raise to make the Pi network and everything and the Pi app, yeah, people mind, yeah, people do a lot of things over the years, six years, and they have developed it. And these people are tech savvy and they know what they're doing. So they're introducing this so that people can take advantage of this also. So I think it's a good deal. And at 10, 10 Pi, 10 pi in Nigerian money is about 20,000 naira because you multiply 10 by 1.4 or there about which is the current value of the pi, 1.4 dollar then you multiply by the um, 1,500 or there about which is the um, naira to dollar value. You just give me like 25,000 or 20,000, between 20,000 and 25,000. That is the cost you are going to pay for the domain. Then you may be wondering, ah, the domain auction. Uh, if what about if I don't win the domain? What about if I don't get it? You remember that if you are going to get 
a good blog that is going to be designed for you by a designer is going to take you a long uh, it's going to take you a lot of money you will be asked to bring in the range of hundred thousand to two hundred thousand naira or even more then in addition to this the person may take some time before he finish designing it and does it but this uh, pie they are already established they are trusted you can see what they have done and you can see that the it's going places and then if it works out that the, the domain is open for use by all that means you can start posting your um articles on the domain name on the domain and then from there you can monetize it and then you can be getting adsense uh, revenue and then uh, you can even use it for affiliate marketing and all that and i'm sure the domain name or the domain the pi domain is not going to be very limited to the pi network it is going to be a it's going to become something that anybody anywhere can assess and they can use because that is what a domain is meant for so if you look at the advantage it far outweighs any advantage that you may think you may have in that line so this is where i'm going to draw the line if you have any question for me you can ask a question then if you are making your domain name so that people will not take your domain name you look for a local name that is known to you and you use it you know people in your locality let's say them you are from um, let's assume you are from ife jumu then you can pick a local name like uh uh, a name that is popular around that side, people love farming, is Arokoyo. Arokoyo. So you don't use Arokoyo because Arokoyo is a family name. So you can modify the Arokoyo for your domain name. So you can say, you can change it to Arokoya. You understand? Arokoya. Or for that purpose, Ara, Arakaya. So you can see Arakaya. Instead of Arokoyo, you can use Arakaya. You can also change the E to choose Arekeye. So by so doing, people that are going to compete and want to buy that domain name from you are going to be minimal or non-existent. So remember to put your 10 pi for it for the domain name, you're going to get it. And that is exactly what I am going to do. So this is where I'm going to draw the line in this video. I want you to like this video, subscribe to this channel and uh, share the link of this video with your family and friends. And um, if you have any questions or comments for me, you can ask in the comment section below. So this video popping up by the side on this channel is the next you need to go and watch now. See you in the next one. Bye for now.